I am Anil Kumar sharing with you solution of some exponential equations. Now, in all these equations, we have E as one of the terms. Now, let us see how to solve equations which involve E. Let's remember two things very clearly. That is, uh, L and E is basically equal to 1 and E to the power of L and X is equal to x, correct? So that should help you to solve most of these equations. The equations for us are x equals to e to the power of 2 ln 5, e to the power of x equals to 7 to the power of 1 minus x minus 3 times e to the power of 7x plus 9 plus 6 equals to minus 6, 6 e to the power of minus 4x minus 10 minus 4 equals to 63 and 6 e to the power of 5x minus 6 minus 4 equals to 50. So let me solve the very first one here, which is x equals to e to the power of 2 ln 5. Now using the power rule, I can rewrite this. So we have x equals to e to the power of ln 5 square. Now what is e to the power of ln 5 square? that is equals to 5 square and so we get x equals to 25 as solution of the first equation correct so i hope that is straightforward clearly understood so that is how you could solve the very first equation now all these equations are different types so each solution is very important to understand let's move on and take up the next one so we have e to the power of x equals to 7 to the power of 1 minus x. So let's rewrite. We have e to the power of x equals to 7, 1 to the power of 1 minus x. So whenever exponential equations in e is involved, we'll take natural log on both the sides. So we get ln e to the power of x equals to ln 7 to the power of 1 minus x. So that gives you x ln e and this gives you 1 minus x ln 7. Now ln e is 1. So we get x on the left side equals to, uh, we can open this bracket. So we have ln 7 minus x ln 7. Now bringing ln 7 together on the left side, we get x plus ln 7 equals to ln 7. Uh, sorry, I forgot to write x here. So x is a common factor. We get 1 plus ln 7 equals to ln 7. And that gives you the solution of the equation, correct? Dividing the right side by the coefficient of x. So x is equal to ln 7 divided by 1 plus ln 7, correct? So we'll prefer to leave it in this stage. This is the exact solution of the given equation. Now let's take the next equation. Now the equation before us is to solve minus 3 times e to the power of 7x plus 9 plus 6 equals to minus 6. So let's rewrite this equation. Minus 3 times e to the power of 7x plus 9. We'll take this 6 to the right side. So we have minus 6 minus 6 and then we'll divide by minus 3. So we have e to the power of 7x plus 9 equals to, this is minus 12, and we are going to divide this by minus 3. So, so we have here 9, uh, 4, All right. So now we can take ln natural log on both the sides. So we'll write this as ln e to the power of 7x plus 9 equals to ln 4. That gives you 7x plus 9 times ln e equals to ln 4. Now ln e is just 1. So what we are left with here is 7x plus 9 equals to ln 4 and 7x equals to ln 4 minus 9 x is equals to ln 4 minus 9 divided by 7 correct so that becomes the exact solution for
for the given equation. So I hope the steps are straightforward. Now here is a practice question for you. Follow the steps which we did the last time and I hope you get the right answer. We need to solve 6 times e to the power of minus 4x minus 10 minus 4 equals to 63. So we could write this as 6 times e to the power of minus 4x minus 10 equals to 63 plus 4. Or 6 times e to the power of minus 4x minus 10 equals to 67. We'll divide by 6 now. So we get e to the power of minus 4x minus 10 equals to 67 by 6. And now we can take natural log on both the sides. So we have natural log e to the power of minus 4x minus 10 equals to natural log of 67 by 6. So that gives you minus 4x minus 10 times ln e should be equals to ln 67 by 6. Now ln e is 1, so we have minus 4x minus 10 equals to ln 67 by 6. Let's take it to the right side and solve further. So we have minus 4x equals to ln 67 by 6 plus 10. Now we can divide by minus 4 and get x equals to ln 67 by 6 plus 10 divided by minus 4. So that is how you would actually solve this equation, right? So we are almost at the end. Let's solve the last equation, which is also similar kind. So the steps are very standard, and I hope by now you know them. So pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. So we have six times, let me rewrite, we have 6 times e to the power of 5x minus 6. I'll take this 4 to the right side. So we get 50 plus 4. So and then we'll divide by 6, right? So we have e to the power of 5x minus 6 equals to 54 divided by 6, which is 9. So we can now take natural log e to the power of 5x minus 6 equals to natural log of 9. Applying the properties of logarithms, we get 5x minus 6 ln e equals to ln 9. ln e is 1, so we have 5x minus 6 equals to ln e. Now it's a matter of just isolating x, so let's do it on the right side. So we get 5x equals to ln 9 plus 6 and x equals to ln 9 plus 6 divided by 5. Perfect. So that is how you are going to solve all these exponential equations. So basically, you need to take natural log on both the sides and remember that ln e is equal to 1. Once you do that, it's very simple to solve such equations. I hope you feel comfortable solving them. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.